Marcel Cincic with the best qualifying record so far in the season. Yet to take a race win, though. We are underway here for the R Factor 2 GT Pro Series, powered by Traction.gg at the fictional Lock Drummond. It's a good start from Cincic, but Ibrahim Khan going on the attack, making contact with Kevin Siggy as they run through the first corner of the racetrack. Yui and also getting involved as we focus on his teammate, Marcel Cincic, leading the way from Vichnevsky, from Siebel, from Siggy, as Khan and Toman will be going side by side directly behind the Slovenian two-time runner-up in the R Factor 2 GT Pro Series. Fantastic battle. Look there at Alex Siebel going on the attack. We don't normally see Siebel attacking this aggressively as he's trying to get down the inside of Nikodem Vishnevsky and grab second position off the Williams Esports driver for Red Bull Racing Esports. No position switch there. Well, let's take a look at this replay as we're seeing with Michi Hoyer. This will be him uh, running wide down at turn one. So he's getting pinched a little bit there from Brzezinski, but he is just in way, way, way too hot. And that could have been disaster position. You can see there's a bit of side by side directly behind that as well between, uh, I believe that's Casper Stoltz uh, and also uh, the the Zancho Simsport driver of Cedo Vire and just a little bit dicey here in the mid pack as they're just all trying to figure their way through. Incredible. I think one of those uh, Jason oh, cars was gone. Cool. There we go. Just in the background, Jerne Simicic has just got past Risto Capit and returns inside the top 10, looking for his seventh consecutive one of the season. And now Arne Schonfleet's looking to the inside of the Estonian as he absolutely fires it in from Jonas Rivio as well. And look at this, Rivio's coming wow. through. Nuno Pinto as well. The freight train is here, ladies and gentlemen. And Ari Gia dropping backwards. Look at that from Mitchy Hoyer. Hoyer. Mitchie's just like, yep, I'm having some of that. Mitchie's gained two positions out of all of this as we see Rosinski round the outside of turn one, trying to get that position back from Hoyer, and I think he's about to do it. There's going to be a bit of contact. It's still all under control, but <laughs> that's just that's just madness. The Estonians just had an absolute mare of a final sector on that last lap. You know, his accelerator and brakes seem to be working. He's just got over oh. the. Uh, oh, is he clattered the wall and bent the suspension a little bit? Yeah. He might have down towards the line for Marcel Cincic. It is a first win in the R-Factor 2 GT Pro Series powered by Traction.gg. It's the third win for Varga Sim Racing in absolute dominant fashion. To have a seven second lead in such a short race, that is almost unprecedented. Like you say, it's something that we'd expect uh, Jovski to do. Yeah, let's take a look at the race finishes then with Marcel Cincic, Vishnevsky, Siebel on the podium. Siggy, the two-time runner-up in fourth position, and Ibrahim Khan right up there in fifth place. Yuri Toman, Yuri Kazdorp, and Dennis Jordan uh, drop down the order into eighth position. And Timotej Adonovsky from 11th up to ninth. Jernay Simoncic down to 10th position, promoted up courtesy of Risto Kapit's issues. 45 minutes on the clock. The feature race here at Lock Drummond for the R Factor 2 GT Pro Series powered by Traction.gg. The best starts come from the Red Bull Racing Esports on that second row of the grid as Yuri Kazdorp instantly going on the attack. It is a comfortable lead though from Risto Kavi, but say that again, scratch that off the list. Here comes Yone oh. Simicic, just as contact. Oh, and the Vargas Sim Racing driver has dropped down the order. That one's Marcel Cincic from Dominant Fashion. Contact with Kevin Siggy. But look at this from Yuri Kazdorp going on the attack of his old teammate. Risto Kapit is under pressure. Jerne Cimicic, the Slovenians leading the way at the moment as they run through the chicane. It was a clean start in race one, less so in race two. Uh, sorry, he's Ooh. had a tiny mistake and he's just been boffed off by Kazdorp. Kazdorp moves to the other side of the track to allow Kapit to get back onto the circuit, but the battle still rages. Ibrahim Khan oh, just seeing everything going <laughs> four wide in the background. And there it goes. Vargas Sim Racing car of Marcel Cincic, but he's managed to get punted back round to facing the right way, so he's uh, lucked out slightly in that fashion. Yeah, Andonovsky definitely helped him out in that one and uh, just spun him round. There was a rear wing lost in uh, all of that, though, just on the race start, gaining positions already on Arne Schonfleet and Jonas Rivio. There's that four wide running through the first section of the racetrack. You can see the contact there, and there was no way that Siggy could go. It's just a three wide. I don't know how they'll uh, judge their way through that because that's just a little bit crazy. For, that's uh, Cino Via, the Frisian flag on the rear wing end plate there, just trying to find his way through a gap, and I think he's eventually found it of Kevin Rotting. I think this was the driver that we saw just spearing off into the wall. Yep, oh, dropped yeah. it on the grass and that's that's big damage. That was a wheel flying off and he's taken one of the mark balls with him and that is him out of this race. Yeah, I said that Kevin Rotting would have wanted a better day and that is not it. A bit further back down the order as I focus on Cedo Bayer with a sort of inter-team battle. Matt Richards on the rear end as Whoop. see you Cedo. Off the racetrack he goes and uh, down the order and uh, unfortunately for him after a great run Yuri Kazdorp in the pit lane. Now, 
that is scheduled. Now, we've seen uh, Red Bull Racing Esports do some bold things and trying to go for a big undercut here. Kazdorp exiting the pit lane. You'll be able to see oh, that. Oh, penalty. Oh, speeding in the pit lane. Oh, wow, that is painful. Uh, we would see that Cap, Cap it penalty. Cap it penalty. Wow, this is building up. To Yuri Kazdorp, it definitely is as he comes in, hits the brakes. There's the pit lane line. Yeah, He's doing over good. 100 kilometers an hour. He's crossed the line 83. Ooh. What did Capit do on the entry? It's the brakes, 130 kilometers. He's oh, gone way oh, over. That's over that's 70 miles an hour. Pretty sure all the race engineers that are on the wall for each of these drivers will be saying, watch out oh, for pit lane. See you, yeah. Mitchie Hoyer. Uh, of the race, realistically speaking, is Mitchie Hoyer and just oh, too much of the curb. But it's exactly what we were saying in, in, uh, in, in qualifying, in warm-up as well, that you can take quite a lot of that curb, but it's a risky game to play. And there's the one from Pinto. And, and here comes Kevin Tiggy. He's looking to the outside, looking back to the inside for what will be turn one, running through the opening kink of the track, diving it to the inside at the first corner. Kevin Tiggy sending it in for BMW and trying to go around the outside of turn two. But Ibrahim Khan's just able to hang on. And he's got the inside for the next few corners, trying to go for the cutback. No, it's Kevin Tiggy. There's no way through at the moment. And the track will switch one way and Oof. back the other, touching the curb a little bit there from Siggy. That was close to Khan. Contact. Yuri Toman and Dennis Jordan are side by side. Here comes Jordan looking to the inside and then sending it in. I wasn't sure if he was going to commit to that. He's not really going to make it stick around the outside. It might be a cut back to the inside as we saw the attempt from Kevin Siggy. Look at that. It's very, very nice though from Dennis Jordan. He's alongside. He's potentially through and trying to make the move stick on Yuri Toman. And he's got up into second position. That is textbook from Dennis Jordan. A superb cutback. And Kevin Siggy's also got through on Khan. Ibrahim Khan takes the defensive line. He's got the outside line for turn one, which will give him the inside for turn two. So let's see if he can pull this off. But is Alex Siebel going to send it down the inside? Might have been a little bit of contact. But is Ibrahim Khan going to come back? No, it looks like Alex Siebel has got the drive around the outside. And that is a done move. To get past his ex teammate as Yone Simicic wide opens the door for Dennis Jordan, maybe to come through, coming through 12 into the penultimate corner. Jordan is very, very hungry here. And could Yone Simicic? be denied once again. It's going to be a bit of a mistake running down into nine and 10 would explain why he's lost some positions and that was that it. Yeah, so ran wide. You can see in the background there as well, Alex Siebel's really close to the rear end of uh, Kevin Siggy as well running down into turn one and he might try and make the move stick as he dives it down there. Could we see two Red Bull Racing Esports drivers on the podium as here comes Siebel. I've got to go around the outside. He did this one on Khan. Is he going to do it on Siggy as well? There's contact between the two and I don't think Siebel's going to be able to make this one He's going to try and leave his nose there as they run round the triple apex corner down into turn six. Absolutely sends Fantastic. it in, does Alex Siebel and Kevin Siggy depose down to fifth. Here comes Siebel though. Here comes Siebel to go and grab the podium from Yuri Toman. Absolutely fires that one in once again down into turn one. There's a little bit of contact as Yuri Toman is trying to stay alongside. So close. And once again, that is proper Siebel work for yet another time this race around the outside at two. We'll see uh, see what happens. I know Dennis Lind is in the YouTube chat right now, so maybe we can get an answer out of him, but I don't think he will reveal anything in a, in a public chat as Arch Gunfleet is battling with Zbigniew Shara here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think they will just fight like we're seeing the fight here. Like I say, Shara on the inside of Sean Fleet running through the penultimate corner, running through the final corner, or outside there. That is not a move we typically see. Plenty of space given. Well, you're going to hold a position and look at that. There is the switch, whether that's team orders or not, whether it's just friends doing favours. Alex Siebel is up into second position. Yeah, whoever wins this race will deserve it. I mean, Symmetrich for holding on like he has. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake. Oh, and there we go. There's the mistake from Siebel. Oof. So they both both had a, a bit of a, a nightmare through there, but it looks like Simicic came off the better of the two of them. Yeah, no, Simicic there. Look at this from Yuri Kastorp, though, to the oh, inside of Timotej oh, Aronofsky. Kastorp's going wide, opens the door for Maratchek as well. That might have been Kastorp in a little bit too aggressive, and Aronofsky's fine with that to be perfectly honest. Morocek's very, very happy himself. Yerne Simicic departs the final corner and for Burst Esports, he will come across the line as the race winner. Dennis Jordan and Alex Siebel will switch positions and Jordan will grab second. Alex Siebel in third, Yuri Toman in fourth and for Simicic, that was perfect for the championship. He held on fantastically throughout the entire race and now he can reap his rewards of uh, Schoenfleet and uh, Kazdorp. Just managing to get by there into the chicane. Oh, 
maybe, maybe not. Oh, he's just made that stick. Yeah, fantastic race from Yerne Simoncic taking the race victory finally in his GT Pro career. Dennis Jordan behind him and Alex Siebel. Some of the best moves we've seen all season from him grabs his way up into third position for his second podium of the night. Yuri Toman and Kevin Siggy in fourth and fifth place with Ibrahim Khan, Marcel Cinchik, Nikodem Vishnevsky, Jonas Rivio and Michi Hoyer rounding out the top 10. We'll take a look at these standings though and you can see those uh, eight consecutive top 10s to open the season are enough for Yerne Simicic to hold the championship lead and uh, even pull out a little bit there with the race win.